So the way to do this is we're going to first start a sketch on the plane of our choosing. Now I want to start my sketch on the top plane. So I'm going to come up here, click sketch. I'm going to select the spline. So I'm going to start my spline right on the origin. And I'm going to drag out and click, click, click a few more times. And that's going to be our spline. Now I want to set a dimension here just for the length so that I can get a ballpark estimate of how long this is. So right now it's 10 inches. We want to draw this out to be, uh, let's say 24 inches, so two feet. And with that done, I can now manipulate my points a little bit so I can kind of move this in a little bit and I can move this point out. I can also create another line here and I can place it right on the origin and drag down. And I can now select this line and the spline. And with both of them selected, I could come over here and click on tangent. And now that line is tangent. So that's going to be very helpful to us. I'm going to click on this line and make a construction because I don't want it to be part of our final sweep. And so from here, we're going to uh, just save this because we want to start another sketch now. And this one is going to be on the right plane. So let's exit the sketch. And let's click on right plane. And we're going to click on sketch. And we're going to basically do the same thing that we did before. So I'm going to click on spline. I'm going to click on my origin here. I can turn this to the side. I'm going to click on my origin here and I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to kind of cross through my original line that I created. And I'm going to set the same dimension that I did before. So I'm going to click on these two points and my dimension is going to be 24 inches. And with that 24 inches now, I can come in and kind of manipulate it the same way I did before. I can bring out a line and make the spline and line tangent to each other. And as long as they're tangent, I can just come and make this construction. And I can manipulate this a little more. Maybe I want to bring this in and I want to bring this point closer to my original line and this point down. Um, I can even choose to fix this here, but we're actually just gonna leave it out. So if I rotate this a little bit in 3D, you can see that these two lines, they converge at the same spot. They have the same starting point, the origin, and they start tangent to the origin based off this line. So with that created, with our two lines created on two different sketches, I'm going to exit. And what I want to do now is I want to create a sketch here on the front plane. So with front plane selected, come over here, click sketch, and let me create a circle right on the origin. And I want my circle to be 0.43. Let me place this down. I want this to be 0.43 inches in diameter. So I'm going to type in 0.43 divided by 2 because this is the radius now. And that's going to be 215 for the radius. And I can drag out a dimension here so I can click here. And that's going to be 0.43 for the diameter. And with that created, we can exit and we're, we're going to use that sort of sketch soon. But what we need to do first is we need to create our uh, composite here. So I'm going to come over here to features and I'm going to click on curves. And under the curves uh, tab here, what I want to do is I want to select um, projected curve. So if I select these two sketches, sorry, that one was selected by accident. If I select these two sketches, uh, let, me, let me try that again. I'm going to select this sketch here, 
and I'm going to select this sketch here and when you do select both of those sketches you're going to see that there's a third sketch that sort of appears now you definitely want to be sure that you select sketch on sketch that's very important and with that created we're just gonna hit OK and we're going to see that there's actually this third sketch that's been made and we're gonna use this right now so I can come up to swept boss base and curve one is the one that we just created that's the composite and I'm going to select this circle that we created and with all of that selected you're going to get this line that comes up and this sweep so again we're using the curve that that we just generated and we're using the circle that we created before on the sketch so I'm gonna hit OK and the thing that you're going to notice about this is that this is actually 3D. So if I look at this from the side and I bring up my uh, sketch that we created this with, so sketch two, the one, one of the ones that we dimensioned, you could see that it has a profile of that side sketch. But if I look at it from the top, you're going to see that the top profile is just like the top sketch that we created. So basically, this is a projection between two sketches. This is what this is a composite. This is what is created between two sketches. You're basically taking two sketches and creating one curve that comes between both of them. And this is a really nice uh, 3D sweep that we've created, which we can use to our advantage. So I'm going to take this cable and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create an assembly and what I want to do is place my cable and I'm also going to place another part that I downloaded from GrabCAD and what this is is a plug outlet so I'm going to place this down and what I want to do is come up here to mate and I want to mate my part here so I wanna click on the concentric circle and I wanna click on the concentric here and that's gonna make them concentric to each other so I'm gonna hit OK and with those connected we see that we have our plug and this is a really nice feature to use when you wanna make a nice looking uh, part that's realistic and so there we have it there's our 3d cable